Hey guys, Kiko here, and in this video, I want to show you how to play and how to practice a riff that I like a lot, a riff that I wrote in 2001 for the song Nova Era from, the, from Angra. And the fun fact of this riff is the riff was plagiarized by a very popular band, like a samba reggaeton kind of a band from Brazil. So uh, I remember back in the day, it was uh, I was giving interviews, it was trend topics, I was giving interviews to the main newspapers and the main TV shows from Brazil about the reggaeton, Brazilian music, stealing metal <laughs> riffs. But anyways, so let me show you the riff and then we will break it down so you can see how you can practice a riff like this. Here we go. <laughs> One more time. All right, so let me show you the best way to practice this riff. So, first, let's understand where's the melody of the riff. So the melody here, right? So now it's very important for you to understand that the melody has to be very clear. So you cannot play like... It could be, but it's too messy, and so it's hard to understand. So first of all, you have to practice isolating the melody, isolating this note here, so it's not, so it is, okay, so it's muted, open, So that's the first thing, understanding the melody and isolating the melody. So the melody is very clear, so the riff is going to be very clear. Now the next part would be the run, right? We have... It's very simple, it's just a major scale. Eight notes. So if you have two guitar players, the second guitar player can play the third. So one, two, three. So you play the scale from the third. Cool. The other, um, the second round, I play from the G to this G here. And the second guitar player could play also one, two, three, right? The, the, the third. Cool. So now you have to insert that run inside the riff. And that's kind of tricky. So one way to practice would be only playing the riff here. So understanding the rhythm of the riff. And then you see that you have a, when you have to play here, you have a string skipping, so it's not that easy. Look. Right, your hands here, and then you have to come here to uh, 12th fret, and you have to string skip here. 
And if you're playing the second, uh, the second guitar, you have to come here, even harder. Okay, so something that you can isolate and you can practice only this jump. Right? Because if you are on stage, you're running, and it's not going to be easy to get, you know, precisely to get that note. Cool? So now, the run. So you're practicing the transition, but now you have to practice only the run. So if you can, you practice a little bit the run itself, but then you practice the run inside the context of the riff. That would be... If it's too fast... Now it's comfortable, the, the, the runs from G, from B, or from G here, or from B here, okay? So now you're ready to play the riff. Right? So you can play uh, isolating the melody, so the melody is very clear. You practice the transition, you practice the run, and now you're ready to play the riff, but there's the last part, which is the chords. The chords are very simple. It's E, D, C, D. I decided to play the chords only the fifth and the tonic, the octave here, instead of the power chord. So because the riff is in in this region here when you play like higher chords it kind of it's, it's clear to the listener the harmony the, the chord movement the chord progression it kind of separates again the riff and the chords because of the octave you're playing so if you play it could be so it would be a heavier riff, right? It's different, right? But something that I used to is upstroke. It's not all downstroke. The first one is downstroke because of, because of I'm playing. Uh, so it's all down. But then the next one, I think, is more aggressive if you play. Instead of slight difference. Cool. So let me try again. All right, so leave your comments. Subscribe to the channel and let me know what you want to learn, what kind of licks or riffs 
and how to practice and anything you want to learn, just let me know. Leave your comments and see you on the next video.